So the reason why I haven't put this on the YouTube channel is because it hasn't been solely my project. Now, I didn't uh, I didn't come up with the idea to make one of these. That was Dad's project. He always loved Volkswagens. Um, and I didn't feel like it would be fair if I kind of put it up and I was like, you know, it's on my YouTube channel and I'm showing you that I'm making it, but I'm not actually making it. So, um, yeah, me and Dad made it. He did the majority of the legwork and then the stages that I had to do on it was basically... I did have to change a few of the brake components. I did have to change a lot of parts, but but that's like pretty much the easy part. Dad did the uh, really hard part when it came to welding it all up. Um, not that I like I, I could probably do it now, like nowadays, because I've got all my welding tickets. But I couldn't have done it eight years ago, just coming straight out of high school. I couldn't uh, weld two bits of metal together, let alone make this thing. But I was able to finish it. And yeah, I just didn't seem like it was fair to put it on YouTube and put my name to it when he did, like, I would say 70% of the work. Um, but yeah, I did hold a torch and I did learn how to get yelled at, so that was cool. But no, so now we've got to test drive it, then take it to the engineer, and we'll, pro we'll show you the process. Like, I mean, if something comes up with the engineers, like, re-weld this because it's not good enough, I'll put that on the YouTube. So like from here on in, everything I do on it, I'll put on YouTube because it's kind of me doing stuff to it. And yeah, uh, I'm pretty like nervous because we haven't driven it. It's This is the first time it's ever kind of rolling out of the driveway, except for I think three years ago, we rolled it out of the driveway and you know, I got the carburetors um, rebuilt and then I had to find someone to tune it. So I took it to places and no one wanted to tune it and it's just ridiculous. Yeah, so hopefully the test drive goes well. I've got a few, like I've got a kill switch that just kills everything. So if something goes haywire, I'll just hit that switch. It's easy to get to. The handbrake's on my right, so I'm ready. I'm not going to I'm not gonna run into anything if something goes crazy, but uh, let's hope it goes well. I'm pretty nervous. So it is kind of cold today, but uh, it does take a little bit of uh, time to warm up. Uh, as you can see, it's a 1970s type 3 Volkswagen and the best way I can show you which which Volkswagen it is is just by showing you the book it's uh yeah it's that one it's not um like normally trikes have beetle engines but uh dad dad always liked their flatter engines he didn't really like the engines that were tall so yeah that's that's it so now we're gonna warm it up I'll just we'll just keep rolling and yeah it'll take like maybe a couple minutes to warm up but it's like really rough at the beginning all right, let's go. I'm just gonna put this down so we get uh, that sweet, sweet sound. So all the paint stuff has been uh, painted within the past year. I had the fiberglass and the two guards painted and then just recently like last month we had the gas tank and the front guard painted. So it's all fresh. Alright let's get to warming it up.
the gears are. We know where we know where reverse is. Reverse is down into the back, but I have no idea where first, second, and third is. So I'm gonna have to learn. You wanna hold this? Probably best if you hold it. So the test drive went well, um, the only thing, I think there's something in the handbrake mechanism that uh, as we're driving, every so often there's like a knock, so I think the handbrake mechanism is uh, somewhere getting caught. So before I test driving some more, I want to fix that up, because I don't want to be going in high speed and then something breaks off, and it'll break off inside here, so it could lock the wheel up, but that's what we don't want happening. Can I get the 17 though? Thank you. Uh, nugget please. Yep, yep. So I went to Repco, I went to Blackdown Auto Spares, none of them had it. They had the they had the brake rebuild kits and they had all that stuff. But what I needed was I needed the pin that um, mounts the caliper to the to the main body just so the caliper doesn't go anywhere and they didn't have it so I went to um, the scrap yard and I went through like all the cars and I, I didn't take tools because I thought and then I managed to find one car one Toyota with ha that this was loose I slid it off it had the pins I didn't know if they were the right length and just took them and it, luckily it worked so, uh, the pin that holds the brake caliper on, I wasn't able to find the exact same one, but I found a slightly longer one from Pick and Pay List. It's kind of like a junkyard scrap place where you take parts off cars. As you can see right there, um, I found a longer pin and I brought the spring back from it. So what I did was I put the spring on this side of the part, right? And the spring was the perfect distance to make the longer pin the same size as a short pin. And then when you come around here, let me take this off. When you come around here, you can see I put the stock, this pin as well, back into it, right? And the pin, and and now it looks good, like that's nice and sturdy. But yeah, I was pretty worried because. If you look, if I can find, here's the pin, right? Here's the pin. 
it's bent the other one's broken so I replaced both with a slightly longer pin and I was able to offset the distance with the spring and the washer on the back so um, we got really lucky otherwise we'd have to be pushing the trike back into the garage so we can continue with our test drive so what initially happened was I think the welds I think the welds were hitting the brake handbrake assembly I think that was moving both the the brake pads and I think that bent the pins which then broke them broke one of them so now that I grinded down the welds you can see there's no I don't even have the return spring on the handbrake on and there's nothing getting in the way so I think we've solved that just leave it there and just warm it up The RPM gauge is a little inaccurate, but it doesn't have to be accurate because the Volkswagen didn't originally have an RPM gauge, so it's not a big deal if this one, like, it, it might not, it doesn't even have to exist, but I wanted to include it anyway, even if it's going to be slightly inaccurate. <coughs> okay. Okay, I think it might be warm now. It might be a little bit warmer. So the test drive went amazing. The thing handles amazingly. It's got a pretty good turning radius. Uh, I got it up to like 60 or 50 or 60 kilometers an hour and it just, you know, it stayed straight. It, it went exactly where I wanted it to go. It uh, There wasn't too much bouncing. The suspension feels really good. Um, the only thing i got to get used to is changing gears while keeping the steering straight. It's a bit awkward. <clears throat> the only thing I would personally change is I would maybe extend the gear stick to be a bit taller. And I would uh, get bigger handlebars so that they come out closer to me. Because I kind of have to lean forward at the moment. So I want to, in the future, once it's registered, get handlebars that I can sit back and have my back up against the seat. Um, other than that, I went to take Lauren for a test drive and then the clutch cable broke. So I'm not surprised that the clutch cable broke because it was originally frayed. It wasn't a new clutch cable; it's the the original Volkswagen clutch cable. And we tried to silver, we tried to braise it to kind of strengthen it, but I think it just um, it just broke today. I'll show you I'll show you the break, and then I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a new clutch cable made up. You can see right there is where we welded it with uh, the oxy, and it just kind of gave up. So I'll get a new one made up, hopefully a stronger one, and yeah. The clutch isn't that difficult to push in. Just get a shot of the engine, Lauren. The clutch isn't that difficult to put in, but it is a manual like um, clutch, so you do have to press it quite a bit. There's no hydraulics to it. I'm really happy with it. Can't wait to actually have it registered. All right.
thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully uh, you think it's cool. Um, I'm really happy with it. It's not it's not show car quality by any means. It is a homemade project. It was made in this garage, so nothing special. No, we didn't have any special tools. Just standard sockets, wrenches, welder. That's it. But uh, no, I'm very happy. Alright, see you guys next time.